Willie D. Live. What's up, family? A Houston pastor has been charged with violating a family member when the victim was just seven years old. And guess what, fam? By the time the victim turned 14, he got her pregnant. Yeah. Who is this dude? Who is he? Robert L. Carter. This dude, according to other family members, is a monster. They say he had sex with the girl over 600 times. The girl allegedly had the baby, get this family, inside of a closet. Elephant in the room question. Nobody noticed the girl was pregnant. She was 14 years old. Nobody knew. Nobody noticed she was pregnant. Let me tell you something, family. Trust is earned, not given. Y'all better stop trusting everybody. And I'm going to go ahead and say it, especially these pastors. You know why? Because these pastors, these educators, talking specifically teachers and coaches and just people... Uh, social workers, people who have access to children, people who are around children all the time, uh, daycare workers. That's right, I said it. Daycare workers. The good ones, I salute y'all. I give it up to you. But your co-workers, it's a lot of them ain't right. And y'all better stop trusting them so easy. Stop tripping over these titles and what a person's saying and what they look like and all of that because the the monster don't look like a monster all the time. Sometimes the monster look like a saint. Yeah. Family, this stuff happened more often you could ever than you could ever imagine. Uncles, brothers, Cousins, next door neighbor, family member, pastor, aunts, big sisters, yeah, little sisters. This stuff happens all the time. It used to be really heavily just where at least the ones that would get exposed would be males, male family members and friends and things of that nature. But now a lot of these women out here trying to catch up, you know, you know, men trying to be women and women trying to be men. So, you know, the women are taking the bad traits of the men also. A lot of these women out here are predators, man. You can't just trust your child just because it's a woman. They're predators. A lot of these women out here are predators. A lot of these little girls are predators. Yeah. They have been introduced early. These little young girls, you let your little young daughter, that's let's say your daughter four years old, and you let her go stay with her friend. Let's say she got a friend that's six or seven. Some of these little girls are already active. Yeah, man. They're already active. And they will turn your daughter out. Let's say your daughter's seven years old, eight years old and she go stay with her friend. Let's say her friend might have an older sister or an older brother that's 12 or 15, 14. Next thing you know, got her or got him, your son. You sending your son over to stay with his friend. You thinking everything cool. And next thing you know, his friend and overpowered him or his friend's big brother or his friend's daddy. You think that boys, okay, they over there with a man and, you know, he going to protect them and, you know, uh, he going to make sure he doing the right thing and, you know, he going to keep them on track. Predators, they're all around us. The little girl was forced into a pregnancy. She carried the child. 
and she gave birth in a closet. And then she had the baby taken away from her and abandoned at a fire station. And a pastor did this. Absolutely outrageous. Molestation and incest are some of the most egregious things that can happen to anybody, male or female. You got people that say, well, you know, he's a boy, you know, so if he get a little sum from his teacher or something like that, man, that's a strike, man. Man, I wish, you know, wish I could have did something like that with my teacher. Or what, you know, where was these type of teachers when I was growing up? Obviously, they were there all along. They just wasn't so emboldened. But let me tell you something. If a boy is exposed to sex too early, he can become hyper, hypersexual. And he can he could end up going both ways because he's already experienced something that he's not even supposed to be experiencing until years and years and years later. But he's already went there. So, hell, by the time he's 17, 18, you know, one woman or even just a good woman ain't enough. A woman ain't enough. He needs something more to, you know. <sighs> this cat, if it's true what they're saying about him, he ain't really a pastor. He is a monster. And that monster needs to be brought to heel along with all of the rest of them. This is cold-blooded. I hope that girl can get through this. This is going to be tough. Molestation and incest, man. That ain't nothing to play with. That ain't nothing to take lightly. And it, it may take a lifetime for her to get over that, if she can get over it. In fact, I don't think she can ever get over it. But just to come to grips with it, to come, you know, come to terms with it and be able to plow through and try to have some sense of normalcy about our life. That's going to be tough. That's going to be tough, but I'm pulling for it. Talk about a wolf in sheep clothing. Dude made a $200,000 bond. Y'all think the church paid for it? Give me a thumbs up if you think the church paid for it. Thumbs down if you say, no, nah, man, I know they be following the wrong person sometimes, but they can't be that damn dumb. Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.